Okay, guys, so what I'm doing is cutting out the SVG file for the hummingbird. I practiced it a couple times. You can see here, this is from Kitchen Sink Stamps, but I really wanted to see if I could layer it up a little better. So once they're done cutting here, we're going to stamp them out. And again, this is the multi-step hummingbirds. You get two hummingbirds. You get the brown hummingbird, which I'm calling the brown hummingbird, but it's the small hummingbird, which you can see here. This guy here, okay, he's super cute. And then the second one is a hummingbird where you can alter his body. So he has um, three pieces for his head and then he has three pieces for his body and a little accent piece. But based on how you have the bird, you can move the bot, tilt the body a little bit. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to practice with that. So I have them cutting out with the little baby Joy. And then once they're done, we'll put them in the Misty and we will stamp them out. And this won't take long at all. The inks that I have are the mini inks from Altenew and a couple mini inks from Hero Arts. All right, we're going to unload this guy. You know what? I'm afraid to go off camera, so do not do this. I'm just going to do that and move this out of the way because I think if I turn the camera off, we'll lose that. Okay, here we go. Now, because we put glitter cardstock, these should all pop out pretty easily. And again, I like saving this piece and putting it in my mini Misty. It's kind of the guide. To hold everything in place here. Okay. Let me get my new little spatula that Carol sent me. Thanks, Carol. Oh, they are really on there. delicate little guy we just well we don't have to put them back in yet but So I want to show you how easy it is to do the little the little brown one, this guy here. Okay, he's only four layers. He's pretty simple to do. You could line him up in there, but honestly, I don't think you need to. I'll just put him in here so you guys can see. It's only four little layers. Now the first layer does not have, um, let me pull that out. The first layer does not have a, um, the beak. That beak is super delicate. Now my Ranger Sticky Grid is holding that in place, okay. So what you can do is you just put the stamp inside your little die hat, die, cut window there and it will be in proper place so now when we lift that up whoops it's supposed to stick take two it's sticking to the ranger sticky grid is what it's doing okay oh i know what it is my magnet's a little too thick we'll move that out of the way okay now we will tuck our little bird die cut back in there and the stamp should be lined up correctly. And 
And this is Sand Dunes from Altano. Okay, so layer one is done. Layer two is pretty easy to line up. Oh, I'm sorry if my head's in the way. That's the hard part about filming this and doing it is you can't put your head directly above the snap, otherwise it blocks the camera. Okay, I think that's right. Okay, so the next color is Rocky Shores. Okay, pretty good. Third layer, we start adding his beak in. Mocha. Okay, oh, I missed the alignment on the beak there. This beak, we'll just have to go back in with a marker. All right, and then the last one is the most detailed layer. I'm going to try to get that lined up with the beak there. Oh, again, sorry, my head was probably in the way. Let's try this. Let's lift our little guy up. Let's try putting a stamp in there. And lining up his beak. Let's try it that way. This poor little beak is coming unglued. I'll have to fix it. We'll have to do beak surgery. Okay. For this one, we're going to use espresso. We go he's not too bad all right so here you can see beautiful layered little hummingbird I will just glue his little beak back together and take a little bit of Copic marker and color that in super cute okay he's really really easy to do and I've done him with um, out the SVG files I've done him with just a stamping block I've done him with the misty He's pretty easy to do. The second one is a little um, different because, again, you can move his wings. Let me just show you these, these two little examples of bodies here. Okay, so can you see the difference here where this wing is going more up in the air and this wing is going backwards? Same stamp set, but because they separated the head and the body, it gives you a little bit of more movement there because if you're gonna be stamping flowers down and you want him sitting on the flower or coming in on the flower or maybe just next to the flower, that's why it gives us two different bodies there. So let's try to line that guy up. So we have this one here and this one down here. So again, during the cutting process, Baby Joy was not so gentle on their tiny little beaks. Do I have another one of these? Yeah, they're all about the same. Baby Joy destroyed their beaks, but that's okay. We can fix that later. All right, so let's start with... We can start with one with the head and one with the body. Let's do that. And we can get two birds at the same time. So this is layer one 
A of the head. So we'll start with that one. Just gonna tuck it in there. And then we want layer 4A, which is the body. And we'll tuck that in there. So hopefully we can get two hummingbirds stamped out at the same time and line them up correctly. So first we're gonna put our stamps into place. Okay, now we're gonna put our little birds into place, little die cuts. Okay, and both of those are kind of a lighter brown. So we are again gonna go in with sand dunes. Well, the body's definitely the next, the other one will probably do a different color brown. Hold on. The head is a little darker, we'll do Rocky Shores. And I just look at the packaging, I look at the layering guide, but again, you can Google what they look like as well. Okay, so we have a lighter brown on the body, a darker brown on the head. Okay, moving on to the next layers. We have number two for the head. And again, if you're more comfortable taking the bird out, you can do that. It does make it a little easier with placement, especially with his, his sensitive little beak. Take that out and then... Yeah, again, stuck on that. Sticky grid doing its job. Okay, so 2A is the head. 5A is the second layer of the body. No rules on what order you have to do these in. Okay, you do what's comfortable for you. I've done it with the head first. I've done it with the body first. I think for me it's easier to do the body first and then the head. But it's personal preference. Okay, so then after we have the stamps lined up, Or where you think you have them lined up. Close the door, pick the stamps up, put the die cuts back in place. Okay, layer two on the head is a turquoise color. Layer 5A on the body is a darker brown. We're going to use Mocha, no, use Rocky Shores. These SVG files will work with the Cricut Joy. They'll work if you have any other like silhouette machine. Uh, the other Cricut machines, the electronic die cutting machines, should work with all of them. Okay, last layer to the head is layer number three. Again, gonna poke up his little body, tuck in his head. And then for the body, we are at number six. Now we're getting some color into the body. So we're going to poke this up again. Whoops. Now this one starts adding the tail and the feet. It's a little tough here. I'm going to try to get those little feet in there. I don't know how they're going to stamp out. Okay, so the body, they start to add some color with some turquoise, and the head, we add navy. Okay, we are almost done here. I think there's one more layer to the body, and then we can flip. The head looks amazing. Okay, that's the best I've ever lined it up, and I think having it in that SVG made it a lot easier for me. 
Okay. Now there is a layer 7A for the body. Now this goes down on his feet and his little tail. Okay, so you have two little um, good two little feet that hang out here, and then this part goes into the bottom of his tail. Okay, there is a little neck piece. I'm gonna save that for last on both of the birds because it can get a little difficult. So we're just gonna repeat now by swapping. So we can do his body here. See if I can line it up without putting the dye in. Sorry if my head got in the way. And then his head. So I think we can do all of these at one time. Let's be bold. Oh, maybe not his head. That little blue piece gets away. We'll save that one. Okay, so this part of the body, we're going to do a lighter color. And the last piece of his other body, we're going to do the dark blue. But we'll have two hummingbirds here put together pretty easily. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's see how quickly I can get him done here. you could continue to pull the dies out and put them back in their um, layers there I'm just trying to save time by going a little quicker here just showing you guys you can line it up and to show you the two different angles of their bodies here same stamp set two different angles Okay, that came together pretty nicely. All right, the last layer we have is this little pink layer, and it's kind of the throat of the bird. So you can see here, there's a much more wider area. Oh, you really 
you do is just kind of eyeball that right in there. It's just basically a filler stamp to fill that in. ruby red on this one. All right, probably could have moved that down a little bit, but it's not bad. And then on this one too, same thing. Sorry if my head gets in the way. You can move it up a little bit so that it goes around his um, neck and his eye a little bit. All right, there we go. Really, really cute hummingbird set. I will link it down below for you. Again, it is from Kitchen Sink Stamps. You can get the SVG file. I do think the SVG file makes it easier to layer them because you have this little kind of guide to help lay the stamps in. But we have these cute little hummingbirds here. Let me hold these up. So there you can see them not cut out and cut out and the different angles that you can do with this guy and his wings. You see that? All right. If you have any questions, post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Once again, thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.